Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, and today we have to put this little vanity bench back together again. Now this is a fairly simple piece of furniture. Now all the corners are held together with dowel joints. And all they really do is they drill a hole in each piece, push in a couple of these little wooden pegs and a little glue and stick it together. And of course, the major weakness of that is that uh, the dowels can break off, especially after the glue gives up the ghost and there's just too much leverage there to keep uh, it in one piece. In addition to that, we're also missing the center support. Somehow the clip where I explained the magnificent Packard Precision 12-speed drill press went missing. No great loss. Also, there's a roaring noise in the background in some clips. I usually turn off the air conditioning when I'm recording, but it's 95 degrees American outside, and that's too much to ask my lab partner to endure, just for the sake of art. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're drilling out old dowel joints is you're not only drilling out the wood, but you're drilling out the glue. And that will really stick to your drill bit. So you need to keep bringing it back up and letting the uh, debris fall off of it. And if it gets hot and sticky, stop and just clean it. Now we're ready for the dry fit. The part that I consider one of the most critical in any procedure. Because if you wait until You've got glue all over everything before you discover that something went wrong. Well, there's really nothing practical you can do about it at that point. Plus, for this job, once it's all together, you're going to have to measure for this uh, stretcher between the legs. this piece and we'll be ready to start putting it back together for real. My turning stock is two pieces of scrap oak that I've glued together. I'm not really worried about the grain or anything like that. I chose oak grain for the strength, since this thing is going to be painted. Also, I have no idea what the original looked like. It may have been just a straight plain wooden dowel, or it may have been turned with beads and stuff like that. I'm going to just see how the wood turns, and if it cuts nice and easy and smooth, I might make it a little more fancier. But my goal is just to have something with a graceful curve to it as it comes down to the, uh, the tenons.
I think that came out pretty nice. Now, ordinarily this would seem like the end of the job, but we haven't addressed the real cause of this failure to begin with. This type of lightweight furniture with a upholstered seat on top is actually held together with uh, wide cloth straps that are tacked one way and then they're tacked across the other way. And that creates a very strong frame because it pulls these side pieces and the front pieces together from both directions. And when that breaks down, when that gets torn or whatever, most people don't have the material or the skill to replace that kind of upholstery. So they put in a board or something like that on it. And what that does, it allows the whole frame to rack, go from being a rectangle to more of a diamond shape. That puts a lot of stress on these little thin wooden dowels, and that's why they eventually snap. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to reupholster this, but to account for this problem, what I'm going to do is put corner braces at each of these joints. And that way, no matter what kind of seat they put on here, it's got the greatest chance of surviving another 100 years or so. The corner braces are just a block that goes in each corner joins the sides together, keeps it uh, nice and square, and holds the whole thing in one piece. And I'm going to cut them out of this piece of oak. I uh, wouldn't want to think about what this would actually cost at a lumber yard, but I cut it out of a piece of firewood. I don't recommend milling firewood into lumber, especially with the equipment the lab has, 10 inch table saw, 10 inch razor arm saw, and a 13 inch band saw really are not the best stuff for the job. And uh, I could have made a video of that, but I'd probably end up like that guy that crashed his airplane to try to get YouTube views. Nobody would be happy with me. We're at the Packard Precision 12 speed drill press where we're going to drill our counter bores, which is a hole with a flat bottom for a screw head to uh, rest on. And uh, because this is a very awkward piece of wood to hold, it's slippery, it's got sharp edges, and there's no real good way to clamp it down. So I've made this jig right here, which is going to hold it. When I drill one hole, I can slide it over, drill the other hole. And the reason it's all open under here is so I can brush out the shavings, and that won't interfere with the lineup when I move it over. So now I'm set up. Let's see how this works. Let me get my Pac-Man clamp adapter on here, and we'll see how this thing fits. That looks pretty good. I've already sanded this down so it'll follow the curve of this front piece. And I've got the taper drill bit for these holes. That presents a small problem. Now that we got all the pilot holes drilled, it's time for a little glue. And I'm using high glue for this because I like the way it fills gaps better and uh, it's pretty sticky. I've dipped a little Johnson's paste whack on each of these screws. So they drill 
in nice and easy. Now I just go around all the other four corners until I've got this thing ready to go. All we need to do now is find some brown paint that will match this. That's not actually a stain, it's, it's a real paint. And uh, it will be ready to go to the upholsterer. So, this is Bronze Age for the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And I uh, thank you for sticking all the way through this video about a little uh, vanity bench. And appreciate it if you would like, subscribe if you haven't already. And, Please tune in next week for another Secret Underground Laboratory video.